I did some exploring off camera. I found a friend. So here's my proposition. We get rid of Florigato and replace it with the Mantis. See, because me having a Meowscarada might have been some sort of prophecy. But you know what? You believed in the prophecy. I believe that Mantises are cool. Swiss. 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 Yeah, we got... We got Swiss. Oh yeah, I just have a full-on scissor. I kind of forgot about that. Streaming when there's an Oilers game? Um, actually, snack! Snack! Shut up! Shut up, Jackie! Shut up about your stupid hockey team! There's a snack! Yay! Oh. I also got this. I don't know why. What nature is it? All right, we got a full team, gamers. What a start to stream. Pokemon? There's a crap ton of content you can do for this series. Next time I play a Pokemon game on the channel, we're gonna do a snake-only challenge run. Just all snacks. Only snacks. Why are we here talking about snakes and I can't even find a worm? Worms are just less cool snakes. What was that one that you made me name my shiny Como? Echome? Echome? He could not beat a dragon snake. Put Rayquaza against... That guy, Rayquaza, he go num num num. They had to ban Mega Rayquaza from playing hockey too. Earthworm is so disappointingly small. Earthworm is so disappointingly small. You're literally just a placeholder. Either die or do something about it. I don't know. You're worthless to me. Once we get to the DLC, you're getting replaced by a certain Gen 4 ground type. Take a guess who. I think my Nintendo Switch Online is still active actually. Swifty could be a star. Yo, Swifty is kind of goaded. Like, they they just aren't getting hit. They're just simply dodging. This song has question mark, question mark, question mark. Swifty is just dodging. Swifty's goaded? You, you can't hit him. He just... He, he has taken out half of Earthworm's health. Even if Swifty goes down, he made an impact. Oh, is also goaded? God, this team's already go- Oh, yes! Hey, only level 16, but its mind is older. Uh-oh. God, I hate early game Pokemon. When your Pokemon, like, the only moves they get are, like, the worst thing ever. Snack, the snack disappeared. And then I got ran over. It was a- it was a trick. Supersonic? Yo, he- Arvin has Supersonic as a Pokemon? That's- Pretty impressive Pokemon there, Arvin from Pokemon. I don't know how to commentate these. These are just raids. I'm just pressing the button and then my Mankey goes, watch, ah, and then the worm dies because of it for some reason. Like the first fight I was just doing, <laughs> it turned him into earth. Yo, wait, is this the salty one? Arvin, Arvin, listen, this one gives you the best shiny odds, okay? Thanks, Gooms. You're welcome, buddy. Sorry, uh, are, are you big buddy? If I'm little buddy, are you big buddy? If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some. Who to eat some? Maridon doesn't have a gender, silly floppy hair man. And Bob's your uncle. What? I didn't know that. You can't, you can't just go revealing these things, Arvin. I should at least tell you the full story, Gooms. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Philosophy here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised I'd make him feel better, whatever it takes. And according to the book, eating all five Arvin Mystic can hear anything that ails you. At case in point, my boss of Paul's were cold as ice before he ate that last herb. But now they've warmed up a little. I'm sure they have. I'm gonna bring my Bastiff back to full health. I swear it. Hey Arvin, have you heard about this movie called Marley and Me? Uh-oh. <laughs> I have angered daddy. Uh, where do I go now? Oh yeah. Hot woman. You want know screw Garchomp? I'm just gonna ride on my invisible ride on. Does this Operation Starful of yours have room for one more member? I suppose I'm hardly in a position to refuse help. Welcome to the Operation, Clive. When I had and issued the challenge to each base under your name, name Gooms. They're basically declarations of war. Let's go! Time to commit some war crimes. Carlos the Charcot. I don't remember this. What? A declaration of war had made her blood boil. I bet even now the work side of some fury control. Ah. Cassiopeia, are you okay there? <laughs> and I was actually thinking something about the fire type. Why is fire not super effective against dark type? Fire makes light. And what happens in the dark always comes to light, you know? So that, you know, you can spin in here. 
All right, I was about to slander the team star sections, but you can spin in them. So I don't think Mela is supposed to be the first team star member. Doing some art classes will be a nice little breather for, you know, watching my team get turned into roadkill. What makes something beautiful? I don't know. To put it simply, it is true that one does not need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. Bro, I lost a viewer when I went to art class. Clearly that person wasn't listening. He said, hey, we may not need the class, but that's the beauty in it. My art class isn't even teaching me how to art. Dude, I've been taking cooking classes. Literally all they've taught me is just like, hey, don't stab yourself with a knife. This lane involves at level 32. So like... I, I felt like I was missing some chat messages while I was like deciding who I want to level up. I, the first thing I read after is, I want to learn how to draw kissing furries. Do we want to wait for Satitan or do we get Belly Bull? I'm going to leave this to the people, aka CC. First guy, because he's the downfall of the industry. In that case, that's a good excuse to go to the Garland because they're in the same area. Garchomp and Gardevoir. Um, we're not using Gardevoir in this game. I couldn't get away. It's a hecking tumbleweed. You are a bug coated in steel. You can run away from a tumbleweed. I'm going towards Atticus, which is where I don't want to be. <laughs> Atticus will kill me, but he'll do it in a wholesome way because he's all like, ah, yes, I am Atticus. I am the very fancy man. I am very noble and uh, smart, I think. The graveyard. Oh, he did a little jig for me. It's destiny. Don't you love color coordination? Don't you love being fancy? You love being fancy, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I say we name him Pasta because, you know, he did cause the downfall of the spaghetti industry. Our entire team is named after food. Or, well, except for Swifty. Swiss, like Swiss cheese. We have the letter O, which is like donuts. We have Pasta and Chalk. Yay! He's kind of small. Did I get like a really small Satoddle or something? <laughs> I love Satitan. It's probably like a top 10, top 5 Pokemon of this gen, and this is probably like my second favorite gen in terms of Pokemon. Satan kind of sucks in battle. Like, if we get a shiny or something, you know, something to replace him. How do I change? Oh, what? He's, he's gonna go in the box for now. Do you mean when I put God in a box? I mean, hey, that's... Um... <laughs> um... He wasn't happy. He wasn't happy. Why are all the Pokemon blurry? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, it's the police! To Titans, Babon. To Titan? The Titan Bombardier. Actually, why isn't there a Titan to Titan? It literally has Titan in its name. Don't you hate it when you're on a date with your platonic boyfriend and then, like, this giant bird just starts throwing boulders at you? But luckily, you happen to have a rock and a whale. Listen, I know you want to revive your dog and all. But what if I told you that using this Herba Mystica, you could get a blue Mabastiff. Bitter Herba Mystica, it's great for your circulation, really gets the blood flowing. I like when my blood works, so I, I guess I'll try it. This will definitely help Mabastiff feel even better. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. Please continue to take good care of Maridon. See, look at Tor- Why can't everyone be like Toro? Toro's explanations keep getting shorter and shorter. He's he's recognizing that we're starting to get the mechanics more. Why can't everyone else be like that? How many of you saw, like, female Hippopotamus? How many people, like, saw Hippopotamus? How many people saw female Hippopotamus? How many people saw female that Pokemon? And thought it was a shiny the first time. I have no idea how to feel about this thing. It's like fun to use, but then it's like, ah, look at him. Look at my son. If any Pokemon was to be hungry, it would be Larvesta. Women, 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 Oilers, Oilers hockey, swearing. Hi. Auspicious armor, why are you giving this to me? Here, you can have Jelly Bean back. If I wanted a Cerulege or an Armor Rouge, there's literally a bunch of them in raids right now. <laughs> I'm not going to admit I was wrong, so it was a ploy to get Jelly Bean back. Jackie, enact Operation Jelly Bean. Screw it! Also, where the heck is the stupid helmet? I, I just want to be Daft Punk. Looks like they're disbanding again, and it's going to be all my fault. Palafin? Or more power on the Primeape? 
I didn't... <laughs> Your choices don't matter. You know what? Screw it! Yeah! Level 40! Honestly... Never mind. I forgot that... <laughs> I forgot that you just don't change. Brown. Ah. And I'm getting them? Also, by the way, Jackie, note that... <laughs> what just happened? I saw that happen in real time. But anyways, yeah, Rage Punch. I keep getting interrupted. Literally one multi-hit move? If it hits five times, you just have a 350 power move now. Would you believe me if I told you that Annihilate is in the same tier as all the legendaries? I really hope there's more Pokemon like Annihilate eventually, where they take a Pokemon's Pokedex entry and actually make it part of some new, like, form. And a five-star Earthworm? Nice. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I forgot that Annihilate's cry is literally just like bones crunching. Honestly, pretty fitting cry. You got lucky, you little tumbleweed. But next time, God will not be so merciful. It's not that rare of a spawn. Shut up, Arvin. Your parents are left you. <laughs> L. So, fun fact about Rika... Japanese women were pulled on which on their fictional crushes. Rika won. It wasn't just female characters. Rika just turns Japanese women gay. She's also kind of built like me. I'm also just like half legs. That's the reason you don't see anything from below here. It's just a bunch of legs. Yeah, a bunch of legs. I'm a spider. Naturally, he is one of our academy's esteemed students. <laughs> What's an esteemed student? See, and then you get the DLC and it's like they give you... Now cause these people to vanish. Die. I'm Larry. I'm assigned to work as a gym leader at Medali Gym. Good job of making your way through the gym test. Anyways, my boss will dock my pay if I spend too much time chit-chatting. Ah, uh, let's get this battle over with. Here, let me turn the volume down for future games to add just death. Actually, no, he's just going to do the FNAF Daycare theme. Never mind. Yeah, Annihilate. Crush their skull. Dun Dun Sparse? I don't care what anyone says. The Dun Sparse is a Baner Pokemon. I feel like it's funny to have his evolution just be more Dun Sparse, you know? It's goofy. It's silly. Like, I didn't think Dun Sparse had, like, an unironic, like, fan base. I thought it was just a goofy Pokemon. This is still better than me getting cornered by my boss. Also, fun fact about Larry Staraptor. This is the only time in the game that uh, a gym leader terrestrializes a Pokemon into a type that it already was. It's kind of goofy, but it, it kind of fits Larry that he just like wouldn't change his Pokemon that much. In fact, he makes it more simple. He basically just gets rid of one of the types. This is for you. Hopefully a child like you has no need to put it on its namesake. Sod. Oh, you guys want proof? that Nimona is a stalker. She followed me home. Actually, Future Gums, what do you think of that card? What do you think of that card, Future Gums? My resolution, air. Uh, by the way, you guys in the stream, you won't, you won't get that joke. It, it's a joke from the future. You won't get it yet. It, it's a paradox joke. It's a joke being made in a stream that references a joke made in the highlight video. And then when this highlight video comes out, okay, Pokemon's YouTube channel, right? Um, it's shorts collection is just like, this is like, what the heck is that? They just made a Larry fan cam. Search for Pokemon news. I, I taught Annihilate bulk up and I also taught her metronome just because I thought it would be funny. Some Pokemon. Hello? Is this your minion? The minion of the paradox Pokemon, Crocodile. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I ask you that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me, with all due caution, of course. I'm surprised that didn't flinch me, too. Oh! Aww. See, the Pokemon with higher stats than a Legendary and the Pokemon with probably the most overpowered moving Pokemon, they couldn't beat this thing. But the weird flower disguised as a Mantis, they got it. Smogon, if you're watching this, you know, THE Smogon, John Smogon, if you're watching this, this is proof that Lurantis should be allowed into Ubers. How- how eat? Like, Maridon at least had a mouth. I don't even... 
I don't even know, man. I'm gonna use the Scovelin I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. Well, I have bad news for you, Arvin. That Pokemon has the stats of a middle evolution. Also, yeah, shout out to me having both Annihilate and Palafin. Bro, I just want to use cool Pokemon that I haven't used before, okay? The shape. The sheen looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's got to be good for you. Also, why don't we have a shiny yet? Honestly, I've never seen anyone go this long without a full odd shiny, like playing the game casually. I don't even know like what shiny I would want, though, because here's the thing at this point. Getting a shiny means we have to get rid of someone. Oh, hey, it's a hippopotamus. Wait, what the heck? Why is there so many sand aisles? What the heck? I just realized that. There's just like a million sand dials here. You fought the Titan, now the sand dial. Oh no. I've summoned the sand dial inquisition. I know who that is. I saw her name earlier. Her name is La. I'm pretty sure um, Team Star's boss theme is uh, the longest Pokemon song without a loop. Unless you count Arceus's theme as like not looping, in which case like... I think that song can technically go on forever. So like, can you just kill... Can you just like run over my... Clawsire, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. Finally, I get to show off this guy. Look at him. Look how cool he is. Zero to hero. Just like that. Um, anyways, yeah. I couldn't get Urban Mystery if the world relied on it, bro. Just buy the DLC. Um, do the tablecloth quest. You can have this DM. I don't really care about that. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a fire type. Let me make anything clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Palafin. <laughs> Palafin cannot learn Flame Charge. You absolute idiot. So yeah, this is basically it. Victory Road, you get higher level Pokemon. Legends Path, you get more mobility. Team Star, you just get money in TMs. That's it. Like, I think there's an obvious weakest reward there. Helping out with Operation Starfall is part of my independent study, you know. The treasure hunt. I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. I bought the DLC! <laughs> oh. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. What's your end game? Avengers, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't had set so much as a foot inside the classroom for over a year. I informed them that they should refuse. That should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. Why would you... What? How does Clive have the power to just expel people? Clive, Clive, I like you, but you're just kind of yapping right now. I'm not going to lie. Just a hunch here. But are you that gooms kid? You know, that piece of work we went to declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. <laughs> this is the part where future gooms just cuts to me, you know, brain punching their Pokemon. Oh, wait, I could use Scizor. I always forget that Dark is or Bug is good against Dark. Actually, you know what type should be good against Dark? Fire type. Because here's the thing, fire makes light. And what happens in the dark always comes back to light. I get that, like, the Team Star battles, like, balance out the game. Because Arvin, you do raid battles. Nimona, you just do normal battles. And then here, you do the auto battles. I don't like just spamming R for three minutes. <laughs> like, that's all this is. I'm just pressing the R button and watching my funny dolphin, funny steel bug, and funny monkey on steroids who happens to be dead. It just kind of destroy these spiteful little foxes. You've done a real number on us, party crasher. Gooms, was it? I'm Giacomo at the deck. I go by DJ Vice. Call me whatever the vibe it is either way. Don't worry, I'll play you a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. That's a pretty good line. I kind of wish these were like the, uh totem pokemon in gen 7 where like you could do something to actually be able to use like these special rubber rooms also yeah we all saw that coming uh you like it at the academy having fun <laughs> it's not the best <laughs> no kid <laughs> what the heck sniff this dragon has the unfortunate curse to sniff British people. You killed Maridon! How could you, Penny? What is that Pokemon anyways? It's really awesome, that's what. What do you think of Team Star? They're not all that. <laughs> Those Team Star guys, they suck. Whoever their big boss is must be a big loser. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't a bunch of delinquents. Uh, most of them used to be victims of bullying or just found it hard to interact with people. But uh, that's just the info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. What the heck, Penny? I simultaneously feel like I have good coverage and don't have good coverage. I'm mostly using Pokemon that are good at being their type. 
and not really much else. Like, I, I can't see Annihilate being a fire type when it has, you know, a 350 base power ghost move. Bro, Kilowattrel is like a Pokemon. That's true. So I actually want to fight the trainers here. That said, I don't know what level they are. So I might get murdered. You know what? I'm good at video games. They, they, these trainers, if they're like level 60, I'll win. S O C S. What's that spell? Socks. And socks, pretty powerful, all right? Boom! Axe for the jugular. It worked. Uh, fun fact uh, X Scissor actually does more damage uh, uh, when Scizor uses it because. Um, a scissor sounds like scissor. Okay. Scissor had to think about that X scissor. <laughs> Positively scrumptious. <laughs> I'm starting to flow at Hate Club. That's it. Screw AZ. AZ, he was a loser. I, I, I haven't even played X and Y since it first came out. You know why? I didn't even like X and Y that much. It was just a fine generation. Eternal flow what? Honestly, more like my eternal pain. The recoil from this move harshly lowers the special attack stat. Mm-mm-mm. Volton Veluza. I'm late. I'm late. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. That's where you come in, kind Jim Challenger. Can you please take what Kofu's wallet to him? Sure. Volton Veluza. Volton Veluza. Volton Veluza. You get to keep his money, by the way. Like, assuming you don't just, like, spam money and you actually do, like, tactically try to buy the seaweed, you do make a profit by stealing Kofu's wallet. Please, no. Listen, I'm really sorry I couldn't pal of you last time we ran into each other, Nimona. Wait, hold on, I want to be sure I picked the right Pokemon you're, and you're at your journey. Sorry, give me a sec to fine-tune my team, then we can battle. Do I want to fight the gym? I... She, she's just gonna come after me. <laughs> if I had a nickel for every gym leader that hypothetically would have a Pokemon that would destroy the Pokemon I've been using, but because the gym leader is programmed to terrestrialize it into the type and then also use a move of that type, therefore rendering it useless, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. And also another phrase I've ever used, but also you can add an extra specific to it in the fact that I've used Mantis Pokemon both times. GG. Volton Veluza. So true. <laughs> or maybe get coverage. Ah! Oh, never mind, it's just you. I'll be very interested in inviting you to the Pokemon League and... Hey, 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 Goobs! Also, Nomona is unironically scarier than Gita. I, right now, I could take on Gita. But Nomona, she has like a Gudra already, I think. Whoa, I look away for one second and you're famous, Gooms? I wish. But hey, I found Gooms first. You may be La Primera, but you can't go stealing him from me. Oh, no. The stalker instinct has kicked back in. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to get in line. Let's have another fruitful battle. She really likes the phrase fruitful. How funny would it be if Lorantis, after doing nothing last stream, just uh, sweeps Nimona? Nice shard, why not? I really need to get some better ice moves. I mean, I, it, it's physical ice type. There's not gonna be incredible moves or anything, but like first electric fighting type. That's one thing I, that's another thing I really like about this gen's Pokemon. They really knocked out like unused type combos. I think there's like five or six previously unused type combos that got debuted in this game. First normal Pokemon that is fighting electric actually. There is a uh, Zero Aura actually. I haven't seen Kukwavl's like official art until like recently. And it's art, it's literally doing the like the I, I can't I, it comes naturally I can't fake it do a funny do a silly do a funny silly <laughs> he tall I uh oh is that what I think it is <laughs> yo placeholder the goat Placeholders the goat. Ice spinner. I think that's an actually decent move. Yeah. See, complaining helps. People are going to start paying more and more attention to you. I just know it. You jealous? Jealous that other people are going to pay attention to me, not jealous they're not paying attention to you. I agree. In fact, you should take this. Consider an investment in your future. That's actually quite useful. Because now, if we want, like, say, a fairy type... We can just, like, make one of our Pokemon a fairy type, and we have a move for it. Dead Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to, to, to rest less for us. 
Glam. <laughs> now then, Brassy, please come in. One of his major works is the installation titled Surrendering Sunflora, found in Artisan. Castle kind of looks like a sunflora. His hair is yellow, and then he's got a green suit. Like, he looks like a sunflower. Nice to meet you, Nob. How about we skip straight to the outro? Yeah.